Today we're smoking up a few racks of ribs, but not just any old ribs. These are going to be rubbed with wild cherry seasoning and slathered with a homemade cherry balsamic barbecue sauce. And if that weren't enough, we're going to be smoking them low and slow on this big boy, the Cuisinart Wood Creek 4-in-1 Pellet Grill. Stick around. First order of business is to give your ribs a good rinse under some cold water, pat them dry, and yes, rip that godforsaken membrane off the back, which is pretty easy to do. Get underneath it with a butter knife and use a paper towel to get a grip and just tear it off. I also like to add a light coat of olive oil to give something for the rub to stick to. And speaking of rub, we're using a wild cherry rub from Butcher Barbecue. And holy guacamole, does this stuff smell like heaven. If heaven were overpopulated with cherry trees, cherry coke, cherry pie, and... Okay, you get the idea. Get the ribs seasoned up real nice, going lighter on the back and heavier on the top. So they should look something like this. So let's talk about this Cuisinart Wood Creek Pellet Grill for a minute. I've been using this thing for about a month or so, and so far very impressed. It has a huge 862 inch cooking capacity with the ability to cook low and slow all the way up to some pretty serious searing temperatures. The Wood Creek comes with a bunch of inserts, a griddle, a ceramic charcoal insert, and another insert to use regular charcoal. I've used a ceramic insert to sear up one of the tastiest flank steaks I've ever made, so it's a very versatile grill. The Wood Creek also has what Cuisinart calls an express ash cleanout system. Just pull out this little latch on the side to release all of the ash buildup from the fire pot. The hopper is also impressive and holds 30 pounds of pellets. Cuisinart makes some great wood pellets, by the way. These are the cherry rum flavor. Okay, let's get this Wood Creek fired up to 200 degrees and get those ribs on so we can make the cherry balsamic barbecue sauce. Oh yeah, looking good. I'll see you ladies in a few hours. And now let's get busy making that cherry balsamic barbecue sauce. First up is a little bit of olive oil, it's about a tablespoon I believe, and we're going to heat that up. And next you're going to throw in some diced onions, make sure you stir them up. And next we're going to add a little bit of minced garlic, and don't forget all of the specific recipe directions will be in the description for you. And then we add our cherries, uh, a little bit of ketchup, and next up is some brown sugar, a little bit of uh, our balsamic there, actually that's probably about a half a cup some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of mustard, and then finally we're going to add a little bit of uh, fresh ground black pepper. And then we're going to bring this up to a boil and reduce heat to medium low and simmer for about 10 minutes. And after that time is up, we're going to bring in a, you, you know, you could either transfer it to a food processor or maybe even use a uh, immersion blender. And you're going to blend it until smooth. And once that happens, you can bring it back to the pan and keep simmering for about another 10 minutes until it looks like this. So let's see how these ribs are doing. Now before we open up the hood, I just want to show you the level of smoke that is coming out of this wood creek. It's a nice steady stream of blue smoke, thin blue smoke, which is what you want. And a lot of times pellet grills get knocked for that, and obviously the Wood Creek has no problem producing that great smoke. So you can see we've been holding steady at 200 degrees, very, very accurate, steady temperatures on the Wood Creek, which is great. What you want for that low and slow cooking, especially for these, uh, these ribs that we're doing today. Now, as you can see, uh, the ribs are a little bit dry uh, in some spots, so that's when I like to give them a little spritz to keep them going, breathe a little life back into them. And then we'll uh, close it back up and let that Wood Creek keep doing her thing. The Wood Creek does come with its own app, uh, the Cuisinart app, and it's pretty good, I gotta say. Overall, it's pretty good. Uh, it operates through Bluetooth. Um, the only issue really is the range. Um, you know, you could be 10 feet away from your grill and you may turn around and then suddenly you're out of range. But as you can see, all the information is there that you need to monitor remotely. Uh, see our temperature still at 204 here which is great so that is probably one of the only areas of improvement so far that I could see with this grill is just maybe trying to improve the app a little bit or somehow increase the Bluetooth range okay let's uh, check back on these ribs again 
and as you can see they need another spritz I think but overall looking good so I'm going to uh, get, add a little bit more moisture and if I forgot to mention before I'll mention now that we're doing these ribs 3-2-1 style today so this is the first part of the stretch the three hours um, unwrapped and then we're gonna do these two hours wrapped and then the last hour unwrapped and we're gonna take you through the rest of this 3-2-1 process right now Okay, we are back from our two hour wrap. Let's check out these ribs and see how they look. I like what I see. Look at all that beautiful moisture. Ribs rendering down really nice. You can see the pull back on the bones. It's exactly what you wanna see. Okay, so for this last hour, ribs are glazed up with a beautiful cherry balsamic barbecue sauce. I'm gonna let that sauce tack up really, really nice before we dive in and take a taste. So after that final hour unwrapped, our ribs are done. And how'd they turn out? Well, they turned out great. The cherry flavor was very strong and very unique. And so if that's what you're looking for in your next batch of ribs, definitely give this recipe a try. You will not be disappointed. Hey, if you liked today's video, we'd really appreciate it if you gave us a like and a subscribe. And feel free to follow us on Instagram at farbeyondbarbecue.